I don't know what a West Virginia dog is. That's the big problem, right? I, I can't believe that Eric's lived in West Virginia for so long and never had one. There's still water in the grass. It's closed. I can't find myself a hot dog. So in case you're wondering, baseball is back. One of the coolest things about the ballpark is not just the peanuts, not just the Cracker Jacks, but the hot dogs. That's right. a hot dog tour I couldn't get a good hot dog at the ballpark now you can get a hot dog at the ballpark which is fantastic so you know how I like it West Virginia style so again we got a nice thick juicy hot dog in there all beef which is fantastic you want to make it West Virginia style they got the chili we got the onion you got the mustard we got the slob but you got to build it together yourself so here we go You can stack it on as thick as you like. I like a hot dog with a lot of a lot of good stuff. Mmm. Nothing beats going to the ballpark like having a great hot dog. And this is definitely a great hot dog. When it's messy, you know it's a good dog. Mm. A lot of good flavor, a lot of good stuff, highly recommended. Okay, so right now I'm with Eric Sakula, uh, one of our pitchers here with the West Virginia Power, and you've never had a West Virginia style hot dog? I don't even know what it is. You're telling me this and I don't know what it is. Yes, it, again, it is a hot dog with a little mustard, a little onion, a little sauce, and coleslaw. It seems right. I yeah. need to try it though. Yep, we're going to try it. Here we go. Eric, who has lived in West Virginia for many years, won a high school state championship in 2006 for South Charleston High School and then attended college at Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia and has never had a West Virginia style hot dog. The very first West Virginia style hot dog, go for it. There's the onion. Yeah, There's yeah. There's the onion. Yeah. Good hot dog too. Mm, chili throughout. Ooh. One more, one more. <laughs> mm. You get the sweetness of the coleslaw right away. That's the best part. Then you get then you get the mustard. And you get the hot dog. Wow. Ooh. I'm gonna have another couple of West Virginia dogs. There you go, nice. So you give it a thumbs up? Two thumbs up for the West Virginia dog. <laughs> Another happy customer right there. Loving the West Virginia dog. See guys, mm. you can get it here at the ballpark. Yeah, it's all beef. Making lots of noise for the West Virginia style hot dogs. Yeah? All day. All Leave day. All day. <laughs> well, over here with the rowdies here. Where's the rowdies? There's one, there's one, there's a couple. There's a few more over here. Hi guys. Hi guys, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, the Eric Sakula just had his first West Virginia style hot dog tonight. Nice. Yeah, he loved it. He crushed it. Yeah, he crushed it. He loved it. I can't believe that Eric's lived in West Virginia for so long and never had one. How is that possible? I don't know how it's possible, but but it really happened. How could he not have that? 
I don't know. That's, that's weird. That's right? Awesome. You guys are great. We'll talk to you later. Here you guys. Anyway, folks, if you like that video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, folks, no matter what you do in life, even if you're looking for the best hot dog out there, remember to always have fun. See you next time. I dedicate this video to John and Daniel, who love the hot dog content. But trust me, there's a lot more than just hot dogs in the world, but thanks for watching.